as David sees the messenger coming in the distance, he knows he's about to find out a couple of things. One, does he still have a kingdom? But even more, will he be alive the next day? If his armies have been defeated, there's nowhere to run where he is. He's eventually going to be caught and he will die. And, and so you might think as a messenger comes up to David, his first question would be, do I still have a kingdom? Am I going to be alive tomorrow? What's going on? But just as we saw God's first question astonish us toward Adam, we see David's first question astonish us toward Absalom. The messenger comes up. He doesn't ask about his welfare. He doesn't ask about his kingdom. He simply says this, is the young man Absalom safe? It just, it, it amazes me. His whole life is in peril, but what he really cares about, this man who has rebelled against me, who has stolen my kingdom, who has dishonored me by going into my concubines, I just, is he safe? Now, why this story? Why does God include this rather sordid episode? I believe it's because God, who calls David a man after his own heart, wants us to know that this is my heart. God loves us like David loves Absalom.